G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. My two most used pot sets and why I use them. Now, we've got the Tokes 550 in here and we've got the Evanu Solo pot set in here. Now, I'll get them out and show you what's in each first. First, a stove I've got in each is a little BRS. Great little lightweight stove, easy to pack away, doesn't take up much room at all. Just got to get it out, there we go. Now, I've had these for years. I've got about three of these, and not one of them have failed on me. Actually, one's still in the original packet somewhere. Uh, whilst doing this build, I'll hopefully eventually find it. So that's in there. And normally in with this is a little mini Bic lighter, which I think might be in the drawer because I used it the other week and never put it back. Same here, mini Bic lighter. And the BOS. And this one's a little bit darker colour, but both identical. Actually, this one's cleaner by the looks of it. So now, BOS in each, weigh about 16, 20 grams, and, and that's it. So, weight-wise, I don't think about how heavy this one is and how heavy that one is anymore. I used to a few years ago, but as progressing, that's just gone out the window. I don't bother. So that is one of my spoons, which was just in there for storage. Let's move that out of the way. Now, spoons, both of them are the same in each pot. And they're the little Sea to Summit spoons. I think you can see it better down there. Now they weigh next to nothing, but I just find them so, I don't know, they, they just work for me. Yeah, I don't need to be long because most of the packs now you can rip halfway down. So need, even if they were, I'll just give it a bit of a squash down and makes it a little bit easier. But yeah, that's the most used one. You can see where it's misshapen and it's been in the pot when I've had it boiling and, and had it over the flame and melted it a little bit. It's still going. Let's take these out then. Now this one is 750ml main pot and the Tokes is the 550ml titanium pot. Now the titanium on the Tokes is a little bit thicker Then the titanium on the ever new. Quality wise, there's not much difference in them. It's, it's down to your preference. Workmanship wise, I just think the ever new beats it. So that's just, yeah, the, the workmanship just looks cleaner, tidier. Now, with the ever new, I carry the cup, and if I remember right, that's about a 450 mil cup, and I could use that to actually boil my water in, pour it in, and then have my freeze-dried food. But I don't carry this with the freeze. Well, I do carry this with the freeze-dried food, but I use this one more often, and I'll tell you the reason why as we go. So there's the cup there. And the 100ml sits in that nice. We can fit two 100ml canisters in there. Like that. And the lid still goes on. So take the plastic off. Save a bit of space and now that lid goes on properly. It's amazing, just a couple of millimetres puts the lid off. 
but now it fits nice. So 100mm fits in there nice and easy, your stove will go in there with the lighter and it'll all fit in the pot with room so you can put your little cloth in that whatever you use to clean your pots with. So 550 again it'll fit the pot, uh, the gas, gas canister 100mm or 100 gram, and the lid goes on with room to spare. Now. The little stove, let's just fold it all up, will go in there, but the lid won't fit. But what does fit is the little pot stand. And if I put it down that way, which is top down, you'll see, I don't know if you can see here, you've got sections taken out and that actually sits on your gas canister on the groove and over the lid and it still allows you to close or put the lid on so if you wanted to carry that in there you can put that in upside down and the lid still fits if you want to carry one of those Gas canister fits in the 550. Now, here comes the reasoning why I carry these. Let's move this all out of the way now. And why I chose one pot over the other when I go out for a different reason or different use ish for the same use. So, still got the cup, the lid the lid and the pots. Now this will determine which one I take with me, what type of meals I take. We've got the freeze dried and we've got the MREs. Now these MREs you can either open it, put it in your pot and warm it up in your pot and eat it straight out of or you can put the bags in boiling water in your pot to heat it up and then you can still use the water to make a drink after. These you can either do the same, put it in your pot, rehydrate it in your, in your pot, eat it from your pot or rehydrate it in here. I know some people say no 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 you do it always in the packet. Yes you can do it in the packet but you can also do it in your pot. It's down to personal preference. One or the other, whichever suits you at the time. I've done both. I've done it in the packet and I've done it in the pot, and there's been very little difference. Uh, the only difference is if it's in a packet, you can eat it out of the packet. If it's in a pot, you can eat it out of the pot. And yet, extra is you have to wash your pot afterwards. So, having it in the pack is easier. You can heat it in here, it holds the heat in more. And now, like I said earlier, we've got little notches. So you can tear that off and turn your pack into a bowl and eat it out of the pack and you've still got your pot to use and clean. So rehydrate, I use a 550. Now these packets, this is the, uh, the small version of 90 gram, add 125 millilitres or half a cup of water. So, where are we there? That is three, five, two, fifty. It's just over a quarter of the pot. So, what I can do is I can put boil my water and pour it straight into the pack. And then, whilst that's rehydrating, I can make myself a copper using the same pot. So that's why I use this set at times, normally when I'm taking the freeze dried. Like I said, the weight doesn't matter. It works out easier, excuse me, you've got itch, to pack the small pot in my pack, and that's the only reason I use it. Oh, 
So I can use it to heat water up and then have a coffee for the 10-15 minutes this is heating up. The 750ml pot. Now I can either use this with the freeze dry meal and do very similar or I can use it with the MREs. And this is the reason for the 750 is you roll that up, put it in there with the boiling water for however long it's going to take to heat that up. Put the lid on. That's heating it up in there. Whilst that's heating that up in the pot, that's when the mug comes in handy. I can still have a drink. So that's the main reason, or the re couple of reasons why I use that one at times, and then the reasons why I use that one. Like I said, I do have a 750ml pot. I have a 375ml cup, which will fit in there. But with taking that in there, I can't fit my gas canister, so it's going to take up space in my pack. Like I said, weight wise, I don't mind too much. Some of my packs aren't the lightest, they're not the heaviest. So, we're doing it this way. I don't need to take as big a pack. So that on its own could make the difference whether I take the a 40 litre or a, a one bigger or one smaller. It's all down to your preference and your personal choice. So 550, gas canister, canister sits in, pot stand goes in, lid goes on, sorted with the meals. This cup on the bottom, so while heating the MRE up, I'm using the cup to drink my coffee or my tea. Now something I have heard people asking why and saying, okay, why take MREs, they're heavier than this. Now this on its own it weighs about 90 grams. Or just over 90 grams worth of meal inside of it, then the weight of the packaging, which is about another 10 grams. So, say 100 grams for that. Actually, let's get the scales. What have I done with them? Here they are. So, turn them on, put them on the flat. That 90 grams worth of food. 109 grams in total. MRE, which if people don't realise, meal ready to eat, all you do is warm it up and it's got it's all liquid. You don't have it's not freeze dry, it's just ready to go. And the amount of food in this, <coughs> excuse me, is 250 grams in net. So in the packaging, that's nine grams more. So that's 259 grams. Yes, if you're going to be doing multi-day hikes and you're going to be carrying enough food for five or six days, your freeze dry is probably the way to go. But if you're only going out for a couple of nights or overnight, the MREs is something I use. Before people start saying, yeah, but that's still lighter, why carry the excess weight? Well, the weight difference between carrying that for the night and eating meals and that, and that, to be honest, is very, very, very little indifference. There's hardly any difference at all because for that, I am going to have to carry another 125 grams of water to make that. So that's 125 grams, uh, and then the 109 grams, so that's 200 235 grams, say, for that. And this meal is ready. My personal belief is it tastes a lot better for that for 15 grams more. So that's what I use if I'm taking 
the MREs for one night or two nights because it's going to make no difference in the weight because like I said I've got to carry extra water for that uh, especially here in Australia because there's not very many streams for most of the year so there's not water you can collect so you've got to carry your water the, if you're on the Bilbo track, like the track there is water tanks but you still have to be sparing because other people are going to be using them too so you're going to be carrying your water for that you don't have to carry any extra water for that so I hope that's made you realize why and what pots I use and for what reasons I might have babbled on a bit I do apologize for that but carrying MREs larger pot very 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 little difference in weight than if you have to carry this because like I said you have to carry your extra water so I hope you've enjoyed the video and that's given you an insight of carrying uh, your cook pots which ones to use whether you're using freeze dried or MREs and if it has helped you and you're not a subscriber please go down below click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it hit that thumbs up button the like button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much